definitely uh definitely some exotic fruit so yeah it's good Hello everyone and welcome to today's rum review. Today we have a ultimatum rum. Ultimatum is a kind of an it's a whiskey company that um, bottles and and buys other kinds of rum for so this is not an ultimatum distillery. Uh, this is uh, a Guatemala rum from the Darza distillery. So there's several kinds of ultimatum rums and ultimatum whiskies but it's not their own distilleries so uh, i have my notes down here just to uh remember what i want to say and what i need to say about this rum uh, it's an eight year old rum and um it has been all of those eight years in ex bourbon casks um it's 46 percent alcohol and it costs around 300 danish crowns for 70 centiliters 300 Danish crowns is around 30 pounds and maybe maybe uh, 35 uh, euros or dollars. So the Darza distillery is a pretty unknown distillery. Um, and um, the, the, most of the rums in uh, Guatemala is made uh, or is uh, aged with the Solera system. This one is, of course, not because it is a single cask rum. So uh, there's only 350 bottles of this one, and I couldn't find it anywhere. I could only find the uh, the samples, the small samples. So if you have a bottle or you come across a bottle, maybe it's a good idea to buy it. If um, yeah, because they're pretty rare, and at 300 Danish crowns, it's uh, very cheap. So. Um, what do I have more? Yeah, it was um, put on the uh, uh, bourbon cask in 2008 and then they were bottled at 2016. So they have been on the bottle now for about three years. Um, yeah, oh yeah, it's natural color and it's not chill filtered. So when you think about that, it's pretty dark now it's in the sunlight right here in the light so you can't really see how dark it is it's pretty dark actually for eight years so these ex bourbon casts must have been high quality or and maybe first or second filled so taking that much color for only eight years so yeah that's pretty good that's pretty much what i wanted to say i think yeah there's no sponsored content in this video, and as always, everything on this channel is just my opinion. Well, let's look into the most important stuff, the nose and the tasting. Of course, of course, of course. Very sweet, actually. Very nice. Um, sweetness and honey and vanilla or honey sweetness and vanilla and there's definitely almonds definite almonds uh, which which moves into uh, because of the sweetness um, moves into marzipan um, yeah so there's actually hints of marzipan If you um, nose it heavily, there's the the alcohol comes through, but only a little bit. There's very little sharpness in this. Quite a lot of lick. There's there's a um, little bit of wood and a little bit of um, leathery. Uh, thing feel to it all the way in the back and here is a uh, perfect example on, on why you should nose it both with your in both nostrils and then one and then the other 
I'm only getting wood and leather in my left nostril, so. There's sweetness and a lot of it, but because of that almond and that um, wood and tree, and tree, it's not boring and it's not too sweet because there's some complexity and some depth to it. I think I'm getting a little bit of exotic fruit as well and maybe some berries, maybe some cherries. Definitely, uh, definitely some exotic fruit. So yeah, it's good. On the palate, it's um, a little bit sharp on the cheeks. Oh, there's a lot of power, very much power. Um, but other than that, it's um, it's smooth and um, and um, delicate in in a way. And there's sweetness at the palate, a lot of sweetness and vanilla. Well, not a lot, but there's honey sweetness and vanilla from those uh, bourbon casks. Um, the finish is very powerful. I can feel it in my nose. I can feel it in my ears, and not. And there's a little bit of sharpness. Sharpness. Not. It's not just alcohol power. It's actually flavors. But I. I need to. I need to taste it again because it was. Um, how do you say it? A little bit of. Um, it was a little bit messy. I couldn't. Uh, Pinpoint the flavors that are too mixed up in some way. The nose is the same as before. Less almonds though. And less uh, marzipan, but still, still wood and, uh, and leather. Um, and the honey sweetness and vanilla. There's a lot of power, it's really, and there's a lot of influence from that bourbon. Um, wow. So the palette, as I said before, was, there was no sharpness this time. Um, but it was honey sweetness and vanilla. And the finish is uh, powerful, warm, um, some sharpness to the cheeks, um, but I can feel it, uh, a little bit of sharpness and a lot of flavor in my nose and even in my ear, and I can feel it all the way down. Um, and there's a little bit of um, wood, a little bit of leather, a little bit of spice, but only just a hint of spice and uh, almonds. And then a lot a lot, a lot of, of that bourbon influence. Um, the sweetness when you nose it is uh, nothing like it tastes. So there's a lot of difference from the nose to the to the to the tasting. Um, but it's a really good rum actually, and for that money, definitely worth it and highly recommended. Um, you really get value for your money here so where should i put this i think i'll be putting this at a seven so the ultimatum guatemala taza eight year old rum is a seven for me um tomorrow we have a another ultimatum from another country and uh in the weekend we have a third ultimatum from a third country so, um, yeah, hope you uh, liked the video, and um, if you did, 
please give it a thumbs up and feel free to share it with friends and family. And um, please do leave a comment. I especially like the comments with serious questions and serious ideas about what I do. Um, if you want to see more videos like this, please do give me a follow. I would really appreciate that. And maybe hit that bell button so you don't miss out. Um, also, check out my Instagram account. If you like what you see there, please uh, give me a follow there as well. Um, that's all for today. Thank you for watching. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.